Don't ever underestimate the heart, heart, heart of a champion. Backseat of a caddy with your hosts, Kay Reno, DJ Rick, and H Town basketball legend, Greg Cadillac Anderson, right now on Legends 34 Sports Podcast. Well, here we go, Legends 34 Sports Podcast. We have the honor and the privilege of having Greg Cadillac Anderson from the NBA alumni, U of H alumni. Word in the K Reno, we can't forget about K Reno. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> hey, man, it's all good, man. We got our brother in the building, man. Ten year veteran in the league, man. Uh, Ace Town's on. Go ahead, Doug. First things first. I wanted to get out of the way. We have a couple of issues we uh we've been discussing off the camera. Uh, rapper that damn sin. Yeah. I uh, recently had his uh unfortunate leg amputated. Yeah. They're doing they're doing a benefit for him off old Galveston. I'll put the link in the description. They're trying to get him a prosthetic yeah. leg. And anybody that knows Sin, man, that dude is a hustler, man. He's at every event, every show, every studio. Man, we want to get him back mobile again, right? Get, get him, him back, back vertical hustling. again. Much love. Sin. And uh, also, can't forget, nice graphics. Did this really nice postcards and uh, business cards for us. We get this. We're going to paint the town red with Legends 34 promotional material. And on to today's privileged guest, and that's Cadillac Anderson. Man. We want to start from the beginning, sir. Pleasure, when did pleasure, it? Pleasure, pleasure. Thanks. Start for you, like it's sports, athletics at a young age. Or? Uh, I was pretty much uh, uh, like all all kids, uh, like a neighborhood player. Uh, and then it, then it expanded out to certain parks, the neighborhood parks, then parks in the area, and you know we'll go over to. Dow Park and play some guys in that area. Go to Stella Link, play. Then as you get little, little better and better, you find a a much better park that got more older guys. You know. What part of the area of Houston you you grew up in? I grew up in Sunnyside. Oh yeah. wow! Okay. Me, uh, I went to uh, I went to Bastion Elementary, and I went to Attica Junior High, and I also went to to Evan E. Word in high school. So I'm a, so I'm a Houstonian. You know, he's been really tall, or well, he hit a growth spurt at one point. Or? I've, I've, I, I think so, because uh, I think when I was in the sixth grade, I was like five nine. So that's pretty wow. tall for a sixth grader. And then I kind of shot up one summer uh, in junior high. It went from went up to about six five, six six. Then after that, I just started averaging out, and then I end up six ten. When did you first start dunking? You know, that's the million dollar question. Well, <laughs> actually, the actually, start? actually, the little, the little volleyball squeak dunk. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, at uh, at Attics. I was I was in ninth grade. Wow. That's everybody for that tennis ball. Yeah. And the volleyball. Yeah, you, the volleyball. You, 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 you can palm yeah, it. Yeah, you kind of graduate. Oh. Yeah. Kind of graduate from the tennis ball. Then your hand get a little bigger. You get the volleyball. Then the next basketball. Man, I want to ask you because I know every athlete had a moment where they kind of knew. And I got a chance to actually really do something. When was that moment for you when you looked at your basketball skills and your game and said, "I think I can do next level on this"? Well, well, coming out of high school, uh, you, you know, you probably heard of uh, Jay Parker being a, being a high school player, right. and you, Jay Parker, kind of, kind of gave me that chance because right. I was just, a, just a. You know, I didn't. I knew basketball, but I didn't know the the skills and the angles. You know, I would just roll the ball out and go play. And and uh, Jay Parker was more of a hey, you can go to the next level. Uh, I was getting recruited, and then um, but Jay, but Jay Parker put me on that pedestal. Well, Connecticut, North Carolina, the Dukes, uh, University of Houston came in at the end. But my um, my intention though, I was gonna go to Rice. 
and uh, and because Tommy Suits was you know was a, and because I used to play over at Rice a lot and, and play against all the other guys over there, and we became friends. And and then and then all of a sudden, guy V came in and one of my little classmate at Word, and he was like a little trainer, but he used to hang around Raw William and, and and Larry Mitchell and all them guys. Guy by the name of Jerry Johnson, he said, "Man, Guy Lewis, won't you?" I said, "Man, Guy Lewis, he ain't never came to talk to me." Right. <laughs> but then, it, then, and then everything came together to happen. So Carolina, the Carolinas, the Dukes, and the UConn, they they was already getting at you and sending. Yeah, you know, Jay Parker really put me out there. Uh, uh, he he was kind of the first guy that bought the AAU because we was the first AAU team of uh, me, Ricky. Carver Holcomb, uh, uh, Fred Bruno, you know, uh, Fred Ricky Demerson. Tears? No, uh, Ricky Winslow. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, All the guys out of Jukes. Yeah. Uh, and and we, I mean, we were green because the uh, in Texas you couldn't have an AAU team. The uh, UIL rules was like, but then we got a chance to go out and play. We went to Memphis, played against William Belford, and we were like, damn, these guys can really play, you know, because we, <laughs> we had never experienced, you know, Outside. all the great guys in in that area, yeah. you know. So, you know, it was fun. So was it an option? Was, was it in your mind, like, if I got a chance to stay home and play, I'm going to stay home? Or was it just you felt like U of H was the best situation? Well, it's, it's, it's a little bit of both. Yeah. Uh, uh, I was... I got a lot of confidence about my, you know, about my game. You know, of course, Rick and Winslow was the McDonald's All American. He was, and he was at Yates. I was at Words, and we we wasn't rivalry, but but when you say basketball high school, Rick gonna be the first name to come out. So he had signed, and you know, he was gonna sign because he was, and uh, I said, well, I could do this too, you know. So uh, I end up going with my first mind, um, talked over with my parents. And, and you stand home was a big part of it too, and of course U of H was ranked number one at the time. They was they was the basketball team yeah. at the time. You, you, you got Akeem and <laughs> then you got Clyde and you had Mike and Larry and plus Larry he went to my high school. Let me show. So he, he kind of led me to in, in that direction. And I can't help but ask, man, when I found this out, he was part of that five slamma jamma. Besides Clyde and Dream, of course, and Gerald Young, right? Rob Williams. I'm from Milby. Right. He's alumni, and he got drafted by the Denver Nuggets right. later on. And I'm always love hearing stories about Rob Williams because uh, I hear he the ball was like a yo-yo in his he, hands. He, I think he started it. He's st- I'm, I'm I'm gonna get all credit to him. Rest in peace. I yeah, think rest in peace. He's, he's, he was he was he was he was raw, but he he was he was the best player I ever saw. He used to wow. play basketball. Raw Williams. Wow. Wow, I hear I mean, these stories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, a lot of people say that too. Oh, oh, he was, that. oh, he was, he was just. It was so easy to him. See, uh, Raw was a, originally supposed to go to Jones. Oh, really? Yeah, but his cousin Juice William, ah. and and the and the coach from Jones told him, "Well, you ain't gonna ever. You probably play as a junior." That's when he went to Milby, oh, okay. and, and he became the a honey boy. Yeah, he became <laughs> a yeah. That's a honey, <laughs> honey is a good honey. Uh, it's funny you say that. Honey's son was one of our coaches at, at U of H. They were kind of like the little ball boy type coach, right. but, but a real good kid. But right. Rob, uh, Rob really, Rob really was uh, the big key to that University of Houston five slamma jamma deal because he make the he make the right passes. Right. Clyde them, you know, they could fly, but but Rob, anytime Rob want to take the game over, he take the game over. Wow. It's just that simple. Yeah. Right. You're not the first person that, that said that because I think um, I was arguing with some cats in the gym one day. We was talking about guys come out of high school. You know, Clyde they ain't come around. But a lot of them older guys, they like, nah, bro, Rob. Yeah, yeah. Coldest high school yeah. player that yeah. ever come Rob, out. Rob, in, in, uh, if I ain't mistaken, they had a guy at, at Wheatley by the name of uh, Greenleaf. Yeah, I heard of Greenleaf. Greenleaf. I heard of Greenleaf. And, and, and Rob was, it was Greenleaf Rob. Greenleaf Rob. Yeah. But, but Rob, he was he was the better player. I mean, he, I mean, he could do it. He could do it. I played. I mean, I never played with him at U of H. Yeah. And I had an opportunity. I played with him at McGregor Park yeah. and Fundy and all that pick up ball. And I had an opportunity playing in a little a little summer league with him at Saint at Saint Thomas. Yeah. Yeah. And he come back. You know, he got this swag. Hey, Judge, you want to love? Like, yeah, throw my love, Judge. <laughs> you know, I'm young. Yeah. I'm running flow like you yeah, know. Yeah. He 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 in Denver. Yeah. And uh, he 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 dribbling the ball and he. You know, he make it to half court. I mean, he just 
turn around and just whip the ball behind his back. I mean, half length wow. of the, half court length of the car. I mean, right on the money. Hell I'm you. like, I ain't wow. that you gonna do? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Who is yeah. this guy? Yeah, yeah. I ain't, I ain't wow. that you gonna yeah. throw for my dad. He said, Judge, you was open. <laughs> I said, All right. But but that that day, I mean, from that point on, I mean, I, I got a lot of respect for him. Yeah. A lot of respect for him. Man, you know what's crazy? Um, you came, in my opinion, in the league to me, like, if I was ever a basketball player, I would wanna play in the time that you played because oh, yeah. of the players that oh, yeah. you yeah. was in the league when you came. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. played against the Magics, the Birds, the Jordans, and yeah. and I saw something when I was prepping for this interview. Um, when you played against the Lakers as a rookie, you had like 19 points in yeah. the game yeah. Yeah. Against, against Kareem. Kareem is out there. Yeah. yeah. What, what When you first came in the league, was, it in, was you like – Starstruck at some of these dudes, man. Well, when I first when I first got drafted, yeah, uh, I went to I went to New York, yeah, for the draft. And Olin Polonese, Sid Blanks was my agent. It was me, Olin Polonese, Winston Cripe, Tony White, Derek McKee. All these guys was lottery pick guys. Right. I mean, they was picked to go in the lottery. So I'm just going along just. Just for the support, right? And uh, so I guess that in New York said, "Say you can go." I mean, I mean, I, Portland said they were gonna take me at thirteen, but you know, during draft day, a, a trade can happen anything. So Portland, I got Portland there, and I done went to Boston um, the summer before, and so it's me, Reggie Lewis, and how Boston do it that they'll bring in the summer the players who they want to pick, who they who they think about drafting. They had Bruce Dale Ripple from Georgia Tech, me, Reggie Lewis, the one who they ended up drafting, yeah, yeah. and had another kid. Uh, he went to Maryland by the name of Derek, something else. But um, they had us up there. We made hey, playing against Larry Bird and wow. and Thurk Hill and, yeah. and 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 Red Arback is there in the gym, yeah. you know. And and it was just. But going backwards, um, I kind of when we was in 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 New York. I'm, I'm just hanging out, you know, and so David Robinson didn't show up, and a couple of guys, number one pick, Dennis Hoskins, number three pick, he didn't show up. So we all in a, in a room, and they had the bags for the lottery guy. So, so one of the guys said, "Hey man, uh, you want one of these bags? Said, yeah, I take a bag. I take a little package, you know. I, I ain't no lottery pick, but I take it." So we end up, I end up had a chance to sit down with the with the guy, and uh, they invited me down. So I'm sitting there, I'm sitting there, and it was it's a kind of funny story because I wasn't expected. I never talked to San Antonio at all. Right. And I had one kid on the side of him named Ron Moore, I'll never forget. Okay. And and uh, he said, Oh yeah, when when it was San, when it was Portland passed, they ended up trading Key Lee for John Paxton. So that night when they drafted a guard. Yeah. So I said, uh, okay, now we'll go next. So I said, Well Boston. Well Reggie Lewis there, me and I, they gonna take they, they took Reggie. So I was the pick right after that. I was uh, 20, 21st 20, pick. Yeah. And uh, so San Antonio Spurs and that Greg Cadillac. I was like, oh, man. <laughs> left field. I was jumped up, yeah. but the dude Ron Moore was just telling me, "Oh man, San Antonio like me." Because every time my team draft, he'll read up and say, "Oh yeah, I went there, man. I had a good training camp in San Antonio. I ain't never been to San Antonio, right. so I'm believing them." And they called my name. I looked over there and I was like, hey, hey, man, I, I holler at you. Yeah. <laughs> See you later. And and, and and it was crazy, man, because that was actually my, my birthday. Wow. That was my 22nd birthday. Best on birthday gift in the world right there. We have one. that right here. Yeah. Yeah. Check this out. Press play. You you there on the end. Yeah. yeah. And Derrick McKee. Ooh, that's a, oh, that's strong. Yeah. And the commentator Greg says. Greg Cadillac Anderson. <laughs> who, by the way, is 23 today, was not necessarily just invited. There's Kenny Smith of North Carolina on the left of your screen. Greg Anderson is here on the right, excuse me. Greg Anderson said he was coming anyway, wasn't invited, but is going to be here. So those players will be Come here. Right? They're going to miss it. Huh? Yeah. 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 yeah, talk about that. Like, pause it. You had a suit on? Did you bring a suit? Yeah. 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 Is that in New York at the time? Yeah, that's in the garden, I believe. So you flew to New York say, I got to be I part flew. of this. My agent said, yeah, you can fly along because we had Olin Polonese. We had uh, Tony White. Uh, we had uh, I think Dave McKee also, wow. and and we had a bunch of guys going on, you, you know, in the ladder. I think Olden probably went number seven or something. Right. Like that. Right. He went to Seattle, 
And uh, so I went. I mean, I just took a chance. I just threw it up in the air, bro. <laughs> was that your first time going to New York? That's I have crazy. to ask. Right? Uh... Was that my first time? It probably, probably was. Played, I've never been. I, I've never played in college there. No, so so yeah, you're probably right. Wow. Yeah, man. I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm walking around. I'm looking up at the building too, you know. Well, I don't want to get too far ahead. I, there's, there's one question I'm dying to ask. Mm -hmm. You played backup center to Akeem Olajuwon. In 59 career wins, they call him Cadillac. Craig Anderson, the freshman, they call him that because he rides a bike. A 10 speeder, though. <laughs> At U of H, can you talk about that for, a little bit? Or? For a little while, uh, uh, one season. I, well, we actually, I actually started with him after after about four games. Uh, we, he was a starter, I was the backup. Then guys decided to put me at the four, put Rick at the three, and Michael Young at the two, Alvin Franklin at the one. And that from that point, because uh, Ben Anders and a guy by the name of Braxton, Braxton Clark. Was the number one JUCO power forward coming out of coming out coming out of our time, and uh, and and I beat him out. Rick beat out Rick. Rick well, I ain't gonna say Rick beat out Benny, but yeah, Rick yeah, started yeah. over Benny. Yeah, yeah. And uh, and it was a big thing that uh, they was calling me and Rick uh, uh, off of daddy's uh, Jr. And, and, <laughs> and, and Matt Dillon. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they were they were teaming up like oh, yeah, Houston boys. They yeah. yeah, they gonna play so. Michael Young, Anderson, and he scores his first two. So we kind of blew it out, but you know we ended up having a good season. So I played on side. I can. Did you have the name Cadillac? At that moment, or no. that was the first season you attended there. When did the when when come when out? I first arrived at U of H, I had a uh, I had a nineteen sixty six Buick Electric two twenty five. Uh. My brother car, but I was driving a uh. long black car. So I get out of this car and I'm shit. I was about I was skinny then, man. Probably about two fifteen, whatever. And um and and Ben Anders gave me that name. Yeah, wow. He said, man, this ain't no Pinto. This ain't no Toyota. This, he's long like a Cadillac. Yeah, and wow. he just stuck there. Man, I go Cadillac. Okay. Then I started riding my bicycle to class. They go Cadillac on this Cadillac. <laughs> <laughs> it took off from there. I just rode with it. So the Cadillac came from Ben Anders. I don't know if it came. He said because I was tall and skinny. and But but the car I was driving, was it was long like a Cadillac. So it was, but it was, wow. yeah, so he gave me the name. Yeah, I got to give it to him. To me, man, that's that's one of the things that, that help you be remembered in the game, too, just having a cool nickname. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you know, it's like, okay, yeah, I'm Greg Anderson. I know, but, you know, there might be another 15 Greg Andersons come through the league. Actually, there ain't going to be but one actually, Cadillac. Actually, I'm going to tell you something real funny. Uh, that My bicycle and, and, and that name made Rolling Stone magazine. Wow. Oh. Yeah, they were doing an article on us. Yeah. And I, and I come, you know, how fine pavilion had that tunnel. I come rolling down the tunnel, you know, on my red swing. Yeah. And shit, me and the bike and rolling stuff. Man. <laughs> wow. You got a copy? You still got a copy there? Uh, my sister probably yeah. had a copy. Oh, that's yeah. Cool. yeah, my mom used to have all that stuff. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, it was pretty. It was pretty cool. Yeah, any of that stuff, man. If we, if you could be so kind, maybe share with us. We put it, edit it into this interview. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I had to ask my sister. She had it. She got all that stuff. All these memories. And my my older brother Mike, he saved a lot of stuff too. So when you got to the league, who name me three players that when you stepped on the court them first, you was kind of like, man, I can't believe I'm on the court with these dudes. Well, man. you said one. You yeah. just said Kareem. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, uh, um, uh, of course, I was a fan of Magic. You know, we was in, in I guess, junior high in 79 when they played against Indiana and beat right. Burnham. You know, I wanted to be a Magic. And I always was, of course, Moses Malone. He taught me. He taught me. Uh, man, I, oh, man. That's my guy. He taught me a lot. He taught me a lot. Yeah. But Salute, but but Kareem, that first game that that you was talking about, uh, I'm going Kareem head up. So I see Bill Willoughby block his hook one time, yeah. and you know ain't too many people did it. Like, <laughs> I think right, two, right. I think two people out of everybody. So I yeah. so I went out there pretty. I went out there pretty hard, yeah. and uh, and it went right over over my fingertip, <laughs> and I, I could hear him tell me, 
Uh uh-uh, uh, young fella. <laughs> Hand down, young fella. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I was looking, I was falling down. I was like, oh, yeah. shit. It's going to be a yeah, long yeah. night for me. It's going to be a long night for me. Yeah, because that was gonna, legendary when, yeah. when, when Bill Willoughby got a, got a, got a yeah. uh, block on that hook. One thing about him, about Kareem, if you ever notice, he ain't going to never come back to the middle and throw the hook. He's right. going to turn baseline. Right. So it was right. hard to block. Right, right. right. Very hard. Yeah. Because by the time he come out with it, it's, 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 it's all, all over. It's way up there. Yeah, yeah. Let's get this other clip up, man. Reg, this right here, right, this kind of blew me away, right? I, when I found out you was being on the show, you were part of arguably probably the man. greatest dunk contest in NBA man. history. All right, the Slam Dunk Championship coming up next. Of course, we have three of the champions from the four Slam Dunk competitions here at Chicago Stadium today. We will have Spud Webb, who won in 1986, Dominique Wilkins, who won in 1985, and the 1987 defending champion. Dominique Wilkins, Michael Jordan, Spud Webb, Clyde Drexler, Jerome Kersey is in this. And then uh, uh, Otis Smith. Yeah. Uh, Yeah. He's 6'10", a forward from the University of Houston. Cadillac Anderson, he's a runner. Underrated, man. Yeah. Was Stansberry in this one? No, Stansberry wasn't in the... Yeah, let it run. I think it's the first one you go off the glass. Let it run. Dude was in Chicago, which right. was Mike's hometown. Yeah. But then, but now Mike has already won one. Dominique's yeah. already won one. Right? How intimidated are you? I have to ask. Them. Well, if you see me talking to him, uh, yeah, if you see me talking to him, All right, stop I think it. I think Dominique really won it. Man, look, look, right, that's, that's the where we're going. That's yes. the, look, let me let, let me let me you let me stop sit it, up please. for this. Let me sit up for this one. Okay, now that was. 36 years ago, 1988. <laughs> it's been an argument ever since then of who of who won that dunk contest. Now, anybody that's a Jordan, we love Jordan, I love Jordan, I love But Dominique Wilkins got robbed in that dunk contest but they because they was in Chicago. You know what I'm saying? It was, it, was, it, was, it was a Mike weekend. So to hear a player, not only a player that was in the league, who was in the actual dunk contest, go on and give it up and say <laughs> Dominique was. Yeah, yeah, hey. he, 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 reason, the only reason I would say that, because Mike did the same dunk twice. He did. And he missed the dunk, too. Yeah. He missed the free throw dunk the first time. That's what people don't remember. And then he did yeah, it again. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 but, but one thing about Neek, and that I noticed in a lot of these dunk contests, he always got the dunk right that first time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. His oh, yeah, he windmills played. were straight. Clyde, Clyde was in that one. Clyde was, yeah. Clyde was Clyde, in Clyde, Clyde, uh, Clyde did a, a, um, a, um, a reverse 360. Yeah. That was an amazing dunk. Yeah. It yeah. looked awkward because we were in that, but, but they right. doing it now like I it ain't remember nothing. that. I yeah, remember they, that. They doing it now like it's right. like People kind of pause like, what was that? What, what was that? But that like, was a the, the it degree was a of difficulty yeah. that yeah. dunk yeah. was high, man. As a big guy... But if we back up a minute, yeah, ahead, you get invited to this dunk contest. Can you talk about that? You get the invite, they call you. Well, do you turn it down at first? Like, man, I can't be. Well, this Michael Jordan I ain't gonna be a part of it. Well, I was surprised, <laughs> but I didn't know that they they actually keep a, a a record of how many dunks you have in a game. Oh, oh okay. And, and, and makes sense. And, in in my rookie year, I think Charles Barker was like one. I was two at the whole league. Wow. Wow. Like like who had the most dunks? Right. Wow. And uh, uh and I was I, and I had already won like two or maybe three rookie of the months. Bro. And um I mean Mark Jackson ended up winning rookie of the year. Yeah. But of course he in New York with right. the media, but right. but but uh shimmy, everybody shimmy. Yeah, everybody <laughs> you know say I should have had it, but I was first team I was rookie there, my little man. I wanted to add, cause, cause you know, the dunk contest even to this day they it's more so they look at it as a um perimeter player type of, as a big man seven foot tall big man was it different for you to be in a dunk contest it was very different yeah. uh, 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 I'm not gonna lie to you I didn't I, I was just going for the fun of it yeah uh, I can't move in the air like them guys them yeah. guys got them guys can move that ball around man they get up in there and hang like Mike them yeah. and Dominique them guys uh, uh, only guy I seen that was flexible like that was Larry Nance oh yeah he oh, can, yeah. yeah, and you know he had long dunks. He had you know he big hand dunk yeah, with two yeah, balls. Yeah, and all that you stuff. know stuff yeah. that we ain't ever seen. Yeah, yeah. but but it, but it's hard. And um, the kid, uh, Dwight, uh, Dwight Howard, Dwight Howard. Yeah, yeah. You know, man, he's, he's yeah. Not many too. big guys have won. The yeah, no, nah, I don't. I mean, all that hanging in there. We uh, we more power dunkers. Yeah. yeah. But that was historic, man, to, to be in that one, though. Yeah, I, I, I think I've, I think I've 
about to finish feel for some of them? Yeah. Damn. Can you tell us any behind the scenes stories, like some chatter that was going on or something funny or something? Oh. Jordan was talking shit or what? Well, I was sitting between Mike. I was kind of. I ain't gonna say cheerleading, but I was kind of supporting <laughs> both of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm I, a fan. I, I, yeah, I yeah, let yeah, old, yeah, yeah. When old Mike dunk and he comes sit down there, Dominic go, Oh, that was good. No, <laughs> they, they come Dominic, Mike go out there, hey, oh, dog, you got him on that yeah, one, yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, no, pretty much, it was it was pretty quiet, laid back. It was, you know, you get more of the trash talking, like 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 when we in the locker room and uh, uh, Mike. Mike, you know, Mike, Mike come in and say, hey, I'm going to take it. And yeah. Uh-huh. I mean, it ain't going to be easy. They're going back and forth. And I'm just sitting down. Yeah. So I'm here. I'm giving you a check. Glad to be in the yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they give me a check for being here. Yeah, that can get your name out there too, man. You yeah. know, I, I know no. I would be that dude that's like, man, I know I ain't for the win, but I'm going to be one of these eight dudes. Y'all going to see me out there. <laughs> oh, no, Y'all no, going to no, know that, my name that, out that, there. That, that took me a long way. Yeah, right. Yeah. Took me a long way, right? And plus, you know, I was hungry, you know. But you know, yeah. ain't no in the game. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I ain't gonna do all that fans stuff, right. but I'm gonna put it in the basket. Let alone Spud was in it. I mean, he's five seven. Spud yeah. was in that one. Yeah, he was. was. He was. Spud was. was in that one. Okay, yeah, but he had one one in Dallas or uh, he had one one in Dallas. Yeah. Right, he really caught. Fire in, that, uh, in uh, Dallas, uh, man. Well, well, Dallas, that's his hometown. Home right. yeah. But in this one, I, I was guess watching. If he had that one in Houston, I probably would have. Right. <laughs> or Clyde. Yeah. It probably Clyde over me, though. Wait, now, you know, the year they, they had it in Houston, Clyde was in it, but, but Skywalker. Skywalker. Took it that yeah. year. <laughs> Ain't yeah. nobody yeah. see yeah. Skywalker coming. Yeah. Yeah. Skywalker. He might have been in this one, yeah. wasn't he? No, he wasn't no, in this one. Okay. No. So, yeah. moving on into the into this season, you ended up being. Um, First team, first team all rookie mm-hmm. that, that first year, man. Yeah. Um, you had a, a strong, strong rookie season. I, I did, I, I did. Uh, you, you're exactly right. I, I, like you said, the the uh, the first game was against the Lakers. Yeah. And hey, man, you got Magic, Jamal, uh, what well, Jamal, Jamal Wilk, Michael Cooper, Worthy. Jane Worthy. Yeah. My confidence kind of went to the roof when when I blocked Jane Worthy shot twice yeah. in a row. Wow! Because yeah, he because cause he had that quick first step. Got to do it. Yeah. yeah. So I was like, "What well, shit? I don't, I'm here now. I belong. I, I yeah. can't get Kareem when I got this." <laughs> right, right, right. So so after that, I kind of I kind of always approach the game, and, and I'm and it ain't no psychological thing. Yeah. I just play like I'm playing the part. Right, right. I mean, confidence wise, you just all the people that you just you, you just tune them out. Had you. I know you had matched up with with Dream a bunch of times. Oh, yeah. Had you played? You had played against Mo a few times before you got into the league and all that. Yeah. So that did that help you? Like when you did face the Kareem's and all these different kids? Like I already played against right killers. I, I already, I already. My my confidence was already. Yeah. I mean, ain't none of them guys. They they didn't frighten me at all. Right. Yeah. Every day I'm playing against Moses. I'm playing against Hakeem. You know, you got you know we working. Uh, tw- uh, sometimes twice a day. Yeah, and uh, I can use always make a statement uh, when I guard him. I mean, he gonna score. Yeah, but I, I, I already knew what he gonna do down yeah. there. He, right. I ain't going for that one. Right? He hit me one time. Yeah. He said, "Uh huh." Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we just laughed and yeah. around. But, yeah. but, uh, but, 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 I can was a he was a big help in my career too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can was. Right. But, but, but Moses was a help in his career in my career. Right, right, right. Moses used to beat that physical, that physical yeah, game. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. He, when you travel with Moses mm-hmm. on a pro am team or go out, you know, during the summer, yeah, it's just the confidence he gave you. Hey, yeah. come on, let's go to work. Yeah, yeah, and 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 he instilled that in me. Go get your rebound, go block your shots, and and everything else to come. Yeah, so that's why I base my game around. You got something done. Yeah, Moses was such a mentor to so many. You hear these stories, Barkley and Olajuwon, yourself. They say the same things about him. Yeah. Right. yeah, he's a hard worker. I mean, he's a hard worker. He, he, he. When he speak, he speak. Yeah. If he gonna help, he gonna help you. Right. Uh, now, if you get hot headed mm-hmm. and, and 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 forget where you come from, he gonna cut you off too. Right, right. No yeah, doubt. he gonna cut you off. Right. Yeah, but he who, always. Who was who was some of the. Um, Coaches that you played for in your time in the league, and who was your favorite one? I would have to say Dale Harris. Dale oh, Harris' favorite wow. one? Yeah, okay. Yeah, Dale, Dale came and found me because Dale was in that, that, that summer league I was telling you about, that St. Thomas summer league, where Dale was always there. Uh, uh, Carol Dawson was, mm. not Carol Dawson, 
Yeah, Carol Dawson, who with the Rockets. Right. Uh, uh, John Ing, you know, all the old Rocket coaches, and, and Dale used to see me play a lot, and, and, and he's seen, a, I guess he's seen something in me, you know. And uh, he was actually the one traded for me from Milwaukee, from San Antonio over to Milwaukee because he was the coach there. Now, um, he was he taught me the game yeah. a lot. Uh, I like Lenny Wilkins yeah. a lot. Smart coach. And uh, every coach had the only the Popovich, mm. I'm going to put him up. I might at the, from where Pop come from yeah. to where he is now. Pop, <laughs> this is going to be funny, you guys. Pop was actually my, um, Pop was actually, when he came with Larry Brown, he was like the lowest coach on the totem pole. Yeah. He was like the one that had to practice pass you the ball. If you want to work on your moves, you want to, I'm, I'm here, whatever, whatever. He was like, I ain't going to say the bad boy, but he was, he, he was there. So he came with Larry Brown and, and Ed Manning, which is Danny Manning's daddy. They all came from Kansas and R.C. Buford. Then something happened and Pop left and he went to Golden State with St. I mean, with, Don Golden, Nelson. with John Nelson. Then St. Jean took over for yeah. Golden State and he learned – he got into that Don Nelson tree. See, they, the culture, we call it a tree. Right. You, you, you just keep everybody up under your hide. So he got up under the, the Don Nelson tree, and if Nelly say hire you, they're going to hire you. If Bill Fitz say hire you, they're going to hire you. So that's the kind of deal that was. But but uh, he, he, uh, he, uh, you know, he came in a pop. He, he, he turned out good. So he, he's still good to me. Let you me know. slide this one in real quick. So, yeah. so when you went to Milwaukee, it was because Dale Harris was like he was already there already. Yeah, yeah, was there oh, and, because I know they got they end up they had David already in the hole. They had David Robinson. They had David, but David wasn't. David was coming on later. Later, the Navy. I played yeah. two years without David. Right, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, and then they brought sent me to Milwaukee, and Terry Cummins came here. So they they did they move you to make way for David, or it was just kind of just some other no, stuff? No, no, it was just it was just Larry Brown. Gotcha, gotcha. Larry Brown. He just yeah. and and there has I take him. Yeah. yeah, and I get Larry Brown like the Terry Cummins, but it turned out you know yeah. that wasn't a good marriage. Yeah, yeah. But, but I learned a lot on Dale. Um, he got me a good contract. Yeah, you know, that was probably my first million dollar contract I ever got, man. and it was cold. Yeah. And yeah, but you know, he, it was cold. Yeah, it was cold. Yeah. Man, walking, but, hey, a million dollars, I'll be cold. Yeah, yeah. I don't been, been, I, I been warm and broke a whole bunch of times. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, it got you know, you know that, that million. It, it, it looked good on paper, but it, you, you know, you, you got a lot of deduction. No question, no question, no question about it, no question about it. Now you, you now played fifty million. I could deal with that. I, hey, that, that's that's <laughs> where I was going. So you played at that time where those kind of contracts was just starting to come around, but looking at it now. I know a lot of athletes are like, man, I wish I was born 30 <laughs> years later. Well, right. yeah, that's true because if, if I if I average, like you should, he showed me that card from Denver, I average 12 and 12 right. that, uh, that year. Oh, you're getting 25 million a year right now. Uh, oh, no. Uh, that gets 25, uh, 30. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah. I even argue. Yeah, yeah. But uh, Otis Birdsong was the first, Otis Birdsong was the first guard to get a million dollars. Yeah. Which is a U of H, University of right. right. ex U of H. Then Magic coming in the league, he thought he was doing something, right? Yeah. So Magic Johnson signs a twenty-five year, twenty-five million dollar yeah, contract. I remember that. Yeah, he rich, he rich for life. Yeah, I remember that. Well, we he wasn't they include the cost of living. Right, gonna right. go up every year. In L.A. Yeah. So by the time you get to six, seven years, that yeah. that million dollar year ain't worth right. But Four hundred thousand. Yeah, yeah, man. So Magic threw that up, and that's when he said he had HIV and all that stuff went down. But, yeah. but, but yeah, man, this uh, 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 the money they making now is 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 it's good. So you Ooh. played almost ten years, meaning you were in the league in ninety three, ninety four, ninety five, mm -hmm. and that's when the Rockets won it all. Mm -hmm. What better person to ask the controversial question of all time? What is that? Every time. If the Bulls had have gotten in the finals against the Rockets, who would have won? The Rockets. Either year. I was Ooh, curious. Ooh, that was fast. He, had, he had it locked and loaded, man. man. Yeah. <laughs> I came. I came with. He was. He, he was. He was. He was. He was focused. Mm. It's hard to beat him when he focused. Man. You got. Wow. The Rockets had 
they had phew, Robert, Otis Thorpe was there, wasn't it? Otis yeah, Thorpe. Yeah. Uh, uh, and Vernon Maxwell. Yeah. And they had some boys, too. Right. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't think Bill Cartwright could have. <laughs> no, <laughs> I, don't I don't think so either. I don't think he could have made a team for no, for, 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 no, for no series. Bill Cartwright, right, right, uh, Will uh, Perdue. Uh, and uh, Dan uh, Robinson found that out. <laughs> <laughs> Look, all of them found that out. That's a two-year stretch. Yeah. You know, a lot of people going to be mad. It's people that I argue, I'll be arguing with cats that didn't even live out here talking about they, Mike and them would have won eight straight, man. I just can't mm-hmm. see nobody winning eight straight, yeah. man. Mike and them, Mike and them, the system, the trying offense, yeah, yeah. it's just an unstoppable offense. Yeah. If if you run it to perfection, you're hard to right. you, you're hard to beat. Right, right, right. I mean, but they had the guy who Texas Reynolds who who designed the offense yeah. sitting behind the bench. Right. So who will so uh, uh, Phil Jackson when got him yeah. to show it, he yeah. had to believe in it. Right. The same offense they. That John Wooden ran at UCLA. Right. I yeah. mean, they just called it the, the, the uh, UCLA offense, man. Mm-hmm. Number trying offense. Yeah, they called it triple post. Yeah. They called yeah. it triangle. Yeah, yeah the same they, offense. They feel about it and introduced it to Kobe and them, and, and Kobe became great at it. Yeah. So, so, you know, if everybody do their job, cut and break, and, uh, yeah. it's hard to defend. And then you got a closer like Mike, and if it do break down, yeah. Yeah. just do your thing. Yeah. Well, my argument always is when it comes to that controversial discussion, that no one ever seems to ever bring up. And of all people, such a big man appreciate this. I don't think the Bulls would have beat the Knicks in 93. They were built to beat the Bulls. You say and the you Knicks. had Mason, you had you. Well, they did beat them, though, right? No, the Bulls, the Bulls beat well, them. Well, the years no. they played us that year in the finals, if the Jordan, Jordan had stayed, I don't oh, think okay. they would have okay. beaten the Knicks. You think the Knicks would have still beat them? I, you know they why took I said us to seven games, man. They went seven without Mike. If Mike play, they might Nick, Nick, win not, 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 five or six. I, I can't tell you this. Mike going to go a little harder. Against yeah. Knicks, man. That, yeah. That's that what I'm saying, Doug. You got to think. <laughs> Scotty, Scotty, that, Scotty and the Bulls, they took, they took the Knicks seven without Mike. Yeah, Mike Mike, Mike going to – against the Knicks, oh, he going to go all in. Yeah. Right. He, he, he ain't going to lose the pass. He, he going to push you in the deck yeah. against the Bulls. Yeah. Especially Patrick Jones, you know, he, yeah. I mean, he going It's weird to me saying that as a Houston fan, but I do appreciate that Knicks team, and it was a nail biter. It took us to seven games, man. They I don't like. That I, I like the Knicks. I, I like John Stocks, a good friend of mine. Patrick Young, we all Charles Smith, Charles, uh, all them guys. They were nice guys, but the organization was so petty when the Rockets won to where man, they want to put them on front of Sports Illustrated. Come on, Lack. Right. Come on, tell yeah, the truth, Lack. That's right. Yeah. Look, yeah, they were saying that. Because they, they own it here. Because Let me they own the happened. media. I mean, they own the media. Let your big they want to make a Texas <laughs> edition. When the Rockets won that championship, they already had it set for the Knicks to get that Sports Illustrated cover. It was uh, already understood. The Rockets won. They scratched it. They didn't want to do it. Yeah. The fans started yeah. contacting them. And, 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 and they still didn't do it for the for the nation, they just did it for the did region. Regional, wow! It didn't, yeah, I didn't because know this. because the market they wanted every, they yeah. wanted the Knicks to what they had won since Willis Reed and them was <laughs> was playing, so they wanted them to win. I got that Sports Illustrated. I got it. Yeah, I had I two copies too. of it. But the th- but Cadillac hit it right on the head. I don't think none one of the Rockets ever got on the Weedy Box. It's probably, oh, definitely not. Yeah. Definitely not. No, definitely I don't, not, I don't, I don't not. think so. See, see, that's what I'm saying. It's like that that Regency bias, man, that we always had. They, yeah. they never wanted us to win. Yeah, it, you know, it's the media. I mean, yeah. it's like, it's like, it's just like the Astros. They ain't want to see the, the yeah. Astros and the Dodgers. They want to see <laughs> the Astros and the Dodgers and the Yankees. Yeah, right. yes, exactly. They, they, don't, they don't want to see U of H and Duke. They want to see yeah. North Carolina and Duke. Yeah. <laughs> so that's yeah. That's yeah. why. That's why yeah. I always love. We used to bust through. Yeah. You go back to the to the to the eighties when uh, Moses and Calvin them knocked the Lakers out and with the championship, yeah, yeah, right. and then when Akeem and Ralph knocked the Lakers yeah, out. Yeah. Man, I I love that, bro. And 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 and, and gave Boston a good series. And gave Boston a good series. You know, straight up, straight up. So you mentioned Patrick Ewing. And um, what what was it like, you know, matching up with Ewan and and and, and uh, Robinson late on Shaq? And Ewan, 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 Ewan was pretty easy. Yeah, to guard. Really? Yeah. Why you wow. Said easy? Cause he tried to post up too hard. I got you. Uh, he he, we used to be and I can used to laugh at him because we used to talk about. It. <laughs> 
Uh, we used to, he used to pull a chair. All we do is just pull a chair. <laughs> you know, you know, we psych him in like like we uh, like we leaning on him. Yeah, yeah. And he gonna lean back harder as soon as the ball come in. He just pull a chair. He gonna stump him. Wow. He, he had a good jump shot yeah, for a big guy. He sure did. You know, he you know he get it going, but but back to the basket. Yeah, he can't. He, he wow. Can't. Sh- Shaq, I'll tell you a funny story. Uh, we was David Robinson and Shaq had something going on. I don't know. I, they both dad in military and yeah. they didn't get along or something. Some <laughs> some some animosity was in the air, man. I didn't know what it was. So I'm. Um, <laughs> So we going over. We playing the, the Lakers. Yeah. And Shaq with the Lakers. Kobe. That when Kobe was. That's a, when you was, came back to the Spurs. Yeah. Okay, yeah. That's my. Gotcha, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. My last go on with yeah. David. Right. With David. Right. So so I'm sitting there. I'm in practice. I'm Shaq. Yeah. They throwing the ball. They, they go. We gonna trap him. We gonna drop down. You know, make him throw it out. Of there. So I'm I'm Cadillacking. You know. Right. I'm <laughs> real Cadillac. Right. Uh, yeah. So <laughs> so. I go home, you know, go do my little pregame stuff, take a little. I ain't really getting. I say, well, they gonna play out. They gonna right. they gonna play big part of the night. So we sitting back. I, I was gang over with. I mean, I had to practice over with everybody. Go their ways. People go get their rest. You know, they do their regular game they deal. Right. So I'm kind of running around. I, I ain't really gonna play Shaq. Big day gonna hit. Go head to head. I'm sitting there. I'm outside. I come now. I'm coming to the game. We before the game. I'm getting a good sweat in. I'm running in case I don't play. I don't got my time in. You know. Right. I got my cardio in. I'm sweating. I'm rain wet. So I come in out. Take out my sweater jersey and get put on my jersey and sitting there. I'm, I'm like, what? 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 Five? We call David five zero for yeah. number fifty. I say, man, what five zero? What David at? And here come Pop. Come the game. Now it's just getting ready to go to the game. I'm thinking that he's having his ankle tape or something. Yeah. Pop coming at you. Dave ain't going now. You got Shaq by yourself. Wow. What kind of shit is this? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, well, I, I, Maybe you're going to give me some electric lights or something now. <laughs> Look, he been Cadillac and I ain't hoping for the night. I ain't hoping for the night. all night, man. Yeah. So I kind of. Uh, I took it all. It was no big deal. He ended up, I think, nineteen or something. But he, I had asked him all night. Yeah. He, he Shaq have a notion of when they throw it in, he like to drop the ball and turn and look and relax. I was poking it out yeah, through, yeah, yeah. make him go out there again. Yeah, he, yeah. He'll hold it up here. I'll poke it out there. I right. Was, right. I would get. I would do that thing I could to keep it big better. Yeah. But he ended up. He ended up. Uh, I think they may have won the game, but it wasn't. You him in nineteen? That's strong. Yeah. Hold on, so time out. What happened to David? Why David ain't all of a sudden they ain't, ain't hooped that night, man? I don't, I don't know. What I, I, I was curious about that too. I was like, wait a minute, man. Was <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it a Navy thing? After, after the game, when the when the the reporter went in there, it was more of, hey, uh, Cadillac Johnson. He 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 guards you by himself. With it. And Shaq say uh, he a good player. Yeah. See, yeah. Shaq, when he was in high school, mm-hmm. I bought his first pair of prom shoes. He was in San Antonio. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. yeah. yeah when Shaq That's came right. out, he'll, That's right. he'll say it on TNT when he when, when he bought Kenny and them shoes. Yeah. yeah. All that, like, right, they, right. They, they, shout out to Cadillac. Like, he bought my first wow. pair of prom shoes. He, he said it all the time. That's yeah. strong, yeah. man. Yeah. That's yeah. strong, man. So I kind of watched him play in high school. Right. Man. But he, he was a... A phenomenal uh, 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 NBA player. You saw it coming, man. Uh, yeah, 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 I saw it. I know by the time LSU, oh, like, I knew yeah, once Shaq get his once he once he got his confidence. Yeah, oh, it was gonna be hard it was to stop. Be all over. It was yeah, be all over. He, he so now he's doing good on the court and off the court. Well, he did, did great on the court. He doing good off the court now. So who talked the most shit in the NBA? Larry, Larry Bird. I'm about to say I've heard it's Larry Bird. Larry Bird. So that's true. Like he talks shit the whole game to everybody. It didn't matter who told you all the stories. Like, yeah, I'm gonna put, we I'm play Boston. I'm gonna hit this shot right here in your face, and he would do it. We play Boston. Uh, me and Reggie Lewis is now since we we met in Boston that summer. Me and Reggie Lewis are tight, so we so we play Boston. They come to us, so they they making jokes about me. Uh, yeah, got Pinto guarding you. Uh, Tell the kid, man, hey, you got Pinto guarding you. <laughs> yeah, so, I the Pinto. <laughs> yeah, so I came out, I came out, maybe my f- first five touches, I I dunked on Perry, dunked on, I was dunk, dunking on all of them. They went back in halftime, so <laughs> Casey Jones said, so what are we going to do about Pinto? Because <laughs> y'all, 
<laughs> he said, man, that Cadillac, man, he, you know, he, he, he'll quick jump on it. Yeah. But Larry Bird, I think he ended up getting us. Uh, we had Mike Mitchell. Okay. Uh, which, which, which was a great score, too. Yeah, the shooter, yeah. And, um, and we were going, we were going, we were going. So Larry Bird got heated up, and he turned. Ball Wise was my first coach. He And Ball Wise just is, he didn't know. He was there. He was yeah. a great guy. Yeah. And, and, uh, he looked over at the bench and ran and said, hey, boy, I, do y'all got anybody out here that can call me? Nah. <laughs> I was like, what the hell did he just say? <laughs> he, but he was there letting him fly. to the coach and everything. Yeah, he, the coach yeah he, he, talking, he was talking to Chad, man. He, now, Larry's about 6'9", y'all almost the six, same eight, height. 6'8", 6'9". Yeah, 6'8", 6'9". Six, 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 wow, but, he was really tall. Like, yeah. people don't understand. But Larry Bird was, was a, he was, he looked as, he did slow moves, kind of like this kid in, in, Dodgers, in Dallas. Luca, Luca, but but he get it all. Him and Kiki Vanaway, yeah. or Kiki Vanaway, Kiki. Yeah. He, he, he'll beat you with his feet. He ain't got to put the ball on the floor. Right, right. The angle. People yeah. don't understand. Yeah, he's going to pump fakes. He's going to jab you. Yeah. He's going to have you going up and down. Then, time, time you free, he shoot it. Yeah. So, check this out. So, because all these stories you tell, you, man, like I say, you said Magic, Kareem, Jordan, Akeem, Larry Bird, all these guys. Would you, I don't want, would you trade? playing against those guys to play now outside of the money because of course for the money I want to play now but yeah this generation yeah, no, I, yeah. I, I, I'd, rather, I'd rather take the same yeah, same role I took I, them guys all those guys man them how I played man I played a lot of Hall of Famer man cause yeah you I played, played with cats like Jack played, Sigma I, and I, dudes I, like that I played with uh, believe it or not I want to say Bill Walton was with Portland my first Rest year. Rest in yeah. peace. I was going to yeah. do Rest a little tribute Bill, on the Bill's show. Bill's a great guy. I yeah. want to say Bill, uh, the big redhead yeah. was there. <laughs> yeah. I want to say yeah. Bill was there, but he wasn't playing as much. Mm. And, uh, of course, Kareem, Magic, Mike, yeah, man. Moses, uh, man, Charles. You, you just said Parrish. And all. Yeah, yeah, Parrish. Oh, man, that whole McHale. Carl Malone. I mean, that whole care. Boston whole front. Yeah. You just come at you, man. You, you got yeah. Him. It was just all this Gilmore. I mean, Man, you know. yeah, yeah, bro. Nah, yeah, I, I, I feel and you. Then, yeah, then, you ain't trading that. You ain't. Trading. You played against then, the greats of the greats, bro. Then, yeah. Then you go to. Uh, did I catch the West on sale? I think I caught. No, I ain't catch West. I caught. Mm -hmm. uh, they had another great kid up there in Washington, uh, mm -hmm. Bernard King. Oh yeah, yeah. Wow, yeah. Yeah. George Gervin yeah. in his last year. I brought up the yeah. Bernard. On I mean, the I had to go out them yeah. guys, but still. But you out there with him yeah. though, George Gervin. I mean, you know, he San Antonio. I mean, we. I mean, he know me. Uh, hey, yeah. You know, he, he, he's a funny guy. Yeah, yeah. Ice man. He's real funny. Yeah. Guy. Well, we yeah. talk about the landscape yeah. that's changed in the NBA. Yeah. I mean, forty. Sometimes 50% of the offense is from 23 feet, 9 yeah. inches. Yeah. Now, yeah. in your era, yeah. maybe 5, 10% of people yeah. are that far away trying well, to score. Well, Everybody's banging inside. Reggie Lewis and uh, Ray Allen. Reggie Lewis and Ray Allen, uh, when uh, Steve Cur Stephen, Stephen Curry uh, broke the three-point uh, record. Three point record, he said, man, shit. they shooting 100 threes a yeah. year. Right. We... We we might have shot one a game. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, Reggie Miller. Yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, right. I mean, we might have shot one a game right. as a team. That's right. right. A three wasn't no big. I mean, yeah. If, if we were shooting back then, like no, man, you get in trouble. Yeah, I, I heard the coaches get, didn't like the three like that back then. Yeah, no, because yeah. we average uh, a lot of NBA teams average like one hundred and twenty five points. Right. Back back then, no doubt. That, that's with five guys, five and five guys touching the ball. They say the pace was faster then than than lot than some of the teams mm -hmm. that they pace they yeah. uh, pace is now. Oh, you go up against the Nuggets with Doug Moe? Yeah. Oh man, man. that pick the pick offense they had. Alex well, the English, change in the Fat Lever, and all them dudes. The landscape yeah. alone. Yeah. How many three points did you even attempt in your entire career? Probably three. Hmm. And, and the shot clock was going all over. <laughs> <that. laughs> like, but with no design, no play. But to be fair, if you played today, like. Reno, if you were to trade somehow, you were to play it today, would you be out of the three point line? Because that's kind of the that's, how it is. That, 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 that's where the money at. Mm. Wow. You got to adjust your game to the. Yeah, to yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where the money at. Yeah, that I mean, is it's crazy. at the top of the key for, for a big guy. Yeah. Right. You're seven foot, they're going to block, they're going to block it, right? So, mm. <laughs> Sam Perkins used to do that to Dream. Yeah. <laughs> Pull that mouth. Yeah. yeah, Sam, 
He shot the he shot the three more than any big man I know. Yeah, smooth. And Jack Sigma. Yeah, Jack. Yeah, yeah I played with Jack in Milwaukee. He shot the three. He he, he was pretty good at three. Bro, man, that's, wow. that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a hell of a thing, man. Yeah. Um, I wanted to ask you, uh, what was it like playing against them, them bad boy Pistons, man? Oof. Man, um, man, and all them cats. It, it, it was, it was, it was, then it was, it was in the Silver Dome. Yeah. And uh, it's already tough enough in a big old dome, just like playing the Astrodome every game. Yeah. But, uh, and it, it was like a dugout. They, they bent, you got to come up to the floor. Right. And man, them, old Rick Mahone them, and, Bill yeah. and Bill and Ed, um, Rodman, and James Sammy. Edwards, James Edwards, the Buddha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, and and the old Vinny, he, you know, he'll he'll cheap Michael shot. Wave. Hey. Michael Wave, and old <laughs> oh, Joe. Vinny, Vinny was playing dirty too. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he, he, <laughs> the, the Michael Wave was out there. Yeah. They just yeah. traded. They just got here. Man. How many fights did you have in your in your NBA career? Actually, you had a fight against Mike Jordan. Just, oh, and Jordan goes down hard. 